What is going on, everyone? My name's Boyt, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action spawning in the right-hand side of the map in the blue color, playing as Isis. You see that his name might say Easiest Best God, but I'll let you in on a little secret. This game was played back in 2011. This game was played back when Titans were playing uh, amongst mere mortals in that the legends of what was past foretold was so intrinsic to the values that we hold today. Yes, this is Magyar, Vizicharchi, the man, the myth, the legend, but he's not up against no schmuck here in 2011. His opponent today in the red color playing as Oranos, he has... He has a whole rich history of banter, of poetry, of reinvention. His name is Army Corps, and you will remember the name just as we remember Achilles, as we remember Hector, as we remember Joan d'Arc. You will remember this man as the man who challenged literally everyone uh, back in the day for the uh, original Sunday classic. It is Sunday today, ladies and gentlemen. We are watching the Sunday classic from back in the day. I don't actually know if this was one of the Sunday classics or not. I didn't say on RTS Sanctuary uh, if this was a part of it. I know that Army Corps and uh, Magyar had a couple of feuds and Army Corps felt like he was the better player and Magyar felt like he was the better player. And guess what? Who goes down in history is the goat of all time. You decide. I know who my pick is, but Army Corps definitely um, had some uh, had some very very spicy games here. And the same with Mr. Magyar. So we have the map Tundra. We're on patch 1.03. That means a couple of things. That means number one, uh, our ISIS player here. This monument protection is boom. Is big. This also means that Isis has got full strength Ancestors Eclipse as she did back in, as she does now. But also the uh, Mercenary Cavalry, the Mercenary Infantry, very, very big. Very, very big. Uh, so super strong units here. So we'll see if that's going to become a thing here. But where Isis is strong, so too is... Oranos. Oranos has got access to a five second shockwave stun. Five seconds. Compare that to now, which is one second. One second. Five seconds. You do the math. I'm not going to do this one for you. I'm not going to hold your hands. You're not going to laugh at me for not being able to do that math because you're doing it. Army Corps here. He innovated Oranos to the next level back in the day and we're gonna see that in this game we'll, well we'll see if we see this in this game now back in the day we did see isis priest siege here magyar went in with the isis priest siege a lot and the Oranos players struggled a lot against that back in the day they didn't realize that contarius was the answer they didn't realize that they could sack a town center and it didn't matter so much because the isis player was not very economic in that situation so as, as you don't lose too many citizen you can uh, you can mount a fairly significant comeback against the isis priest siege now we do see uh Magyar moving over here. He's got access to these three Aurochs. He's got access to these Caribou here. Doing all of the good stuff. So, what's Army Corps doing? Well, it's been nearly 20 years, guys. Nearly 20 years. And guess what? Arano's players still go Prometheus. They still go Prometheus. They went Prometheus in 2011. They went Prometheus in 2004. They go Prometheus in 2022 and beyond. To infinity and beyond. Army Corps is just about to hit the next stage. There he goes. What is he going to build? Where is he going to build it? I see a mana going up here. I see a counter barracks coming up. Now remember, there was a time. I vividly remember this time. When pure Terma was really, really good because nobody knew how to deal with it. And are we seeing that? No. Army Corps going for the military barracks. He's going for the counter barracks. He's going for Terma. He's going for Mamilla. And he's going to go and make Magyar 
pay. Magyar right now is going through Anubis. This guy was wild. He would do everything and anything under the sun. And he's going through Anubis in this game. Before Anubis was popular, before Anubis was buffed. Anubis was not strong back in the day. Let's check this out as we hit the next age. Let's just take a quick little gander here. Necropolis, no changes. Where is it? Feet of the Jackal. 20% hack damage, 50 Anubi hit points, plus 6 jump range. I don't think that's accurate. I don't think that's correct at all. I think that's from my, uh, my mod, unfortunately. Anyways, barracks down for... Magyar, yeah, he's getting up his monument to the soldiers as well. So he's going for a classical fight here against the Uranus of Army Corps. He's deciding to go in with a classical fight. Trying things out here. We've got the Termal, we've got the Mermillo ready to start moving forward. Relics on the map. We do have the Oosberg Wagon, one of the best relics in the game. An absolute S tier relic. We've also got up at the top of the map a less than stellar relic, but still worth picking up if you have the time. Ship of the fingernails we do see that valor has come down hitting two terma it looks like and we must have clicked that early it seems because i only see two heroes there's the uh, three terma actually it goes for all terma heroes this is very different to what we would do today where uh, it's much better we think to get uh the the mamilla heroes than the mamilla terma but he has to deal with the nubite and nubite's fast enough to dodge these uh these javelin spears of the hero terma these are nubite he's a speedy boy he's gonna get out of here though is he gonna be going for any upgrades though he's getting priests he's getting himself Another Anubi, he's making himself some slingers. Lots of villagers on wood right now. Magyar was amazing at this kind of wild, random play style here. He's getting himself out. Slinger Axeman to deal with the Mermillo Terma of Army Corps. But Army Corps was no pushover. And he's definitely one of the best players of all time, no doubt. And we'll see if, uh, if Army Corps is going to be able to find anything to do in this game against Magyar as Magyar casts himself prosperity into his base here getting himself that medium gold mine depleting it quickly not sure exactly what his plan is here is he's going to make some more priests or he's just holding on to his hunt over here he's got a lot of hunt left in his base over here he can get up these aurochs he's getting himself a second town center so a delayed second town center so this is um this is an interesting try from Magyar this is not something that we would generally see nowadays uh, in that if you're going for a classical fight it doesn't make sense to get this town center this late but Magyar's going to see if he can make that work obviously we are seeing uh, another counter barracks here for army corps he's realizing he might need to be making a couple more terma out in this game or maybe even yeah just more terma is is going to make a lot of sense we don't see a we do see a second talent center for army corps though he's going to start getting those army corps had these timings down in that he would always go for like a roughly a seven minute second town center and then he would sometimes he would follow that up with a nine minute third town center and Given we have a classic 1.03 map here, ladies and gentlemen, if you're playing on Extended Edition or Vubly and 5.0 and you complain about your map, just remember what it used to be. Look at this town center here, right in the middle of the map. Look at this town center, nice and close to Army Corps' base here. So now Army Corps, he's going to be moving forward. He's going to be able to start pushing in and taking down these slingers, taking down the axemen, the, uh, the, the priests sitting here. Just going to be sitting back. We do have a nice gold mine here as well. A nice gold mine. Uh, fantastic. We will be seeing the uh, citizen falling over here as these units are going to be trying to push in and the slingers here to push back out. Uh, and we'll see how this is going to go. The Anubites circling around, going to be looking to jump onto these citizen over here. Not just yet happening, though. He's just going for some raids. Being cheeky, these Anubites without uh, Feet of the Jackal were very, very weak. And I'm surprised to see... Oh, there he goes. He's getting himself that Feet of the Jackal now. So we'll see exactly what happens to these units when, once he gets that. Is he, gonna, he gets a bunch of HP, a bunch of damage. Uh, in fact, 50 hit points, 6 jump attack range, and plus 2.6 hack damage so that's actually really really strong still i think it, it's, it's good it's good we will be seeing an attempt at, at sniping off some units role playing a little bit as uh as centaurs basically going after these citizen going to attempt to take some of these guys down uh he's not really going to get any but if he just picks off a couple of units and gets out of here he's going to be in a great position but shockwave is available right 
Shockwave is available, and Army Corps should be using that. He could Shockwave this easily, pick off one or two of those Anubites, and just make himself feel very, very safe and at home. We're seeing more villagers coming out. The farms now coming down for Magyar. No plow just yet. It's coming through, though. Uh, and he might also think about getting Sacred Cats. It was a little bit unclear as to who understood if Sacred Cats was good or not and when it was good. Back in the day, I think most people just thought it was a waste of a technology. Not that They didn't really realize it was all about animations and how all of the gather rates worked. But then again, I do believe that certain individuals and possibly Magyar would have been one of them, would have been smart enough to go in and just keep this information for themselves, work it all out and just kind of just keep it for themselves. A little bit greedy, but that's what that's what happened back in the day. If you figured out a little bit of an advantage over your opponent or in the game, then you would uh, you would abuse that and attempt to hold on to that knowledge for as long as you can. Uh, because it was kind of was all the ego. And there's the uh, shockwave we were talking about. Look at this spearman just sitting here idly by for so long, not doing anything. But the snakes, uh, Plague of Serpents, does get thrown down. And there's Army Corps' third town. So like I said, coming up around about 9.30, 10 minutes, 9 minutes. Not all, all the same vibe here for Army Corps. He's going to be skyrocketing ahead in this game, making his way into the Heroic Age, uh, and then into the Mythic Age after that as well. He's just going to be pumping units though for the time being. And we do see that Magyar has managed to hold here. He has made some of these Mercenary coming out right now. You can see how strong they are. 44% hack armor, 30% pierce armor, 93 HP. So very, very strong. Uh, but the question right now is going to be, can Magyar hold against Army Corps? And, and, and can he make it to the uh, can he make it to the Mythic Age and make it uh, and make maybe make him to another gold mine? That's going to be a tough one. This is such a cheeky, cheeky, uh, cheeky, cheeky uh, Oracle here. I'm sure Magyar sees it. No, Magyar doesn't see it. It's just chilling here, having a great line of sight on this location. Army Corps, very, very smart here. Very, very smart. We'll see how this is going to work. Is Army Corps going to make this push in? He's going to have to be thinking about going to the Heroic Age soon. Another barracks coming down. How are the economic upgrades looking? He has Shaft Mine. He's got all of the good upgrades. He's going to be moving back in. Just has to take down these Serpents. I feel like he's got a very, very strong army here, given it's the Slingers against the Mermillo, basically. Uh, there are some Axemen, and they're going to do a lot of work to defend this. Uh, uh, Magyar right now is a... 114 supply, not enough barracks up. He's not spamming the units out that he needs to hold on here. He's starting to make some more slingers right now as the, uh, as the termite. Nice micro here from Army Corps. He's going to be running past those slingers, dodging those sling uh, projectiles there. Nice play, but uh, same with Magyar. He's going to be jumping in and getting this damage done. Yet again, nice micro there. Magyar's micro was one of the best back in the day, and so too was Army Corps. It's very, very exciting to see these guys pulling that kind of stuff off, but Nephthys has come through now for Magia. He's going to want to get to the Mythic Age. He's going to get to the Mythic Age through Osiris. Son of Osiris here is so key in this matchup. Then again, back in 2011, did we really know that or not? Did we really know that? I can't remember knowing that Osiris was so good. I remember learning that much, much later on, but that's because I'm a vanilla scrub. Anyways, we've got the uh, Scorpion Man going to be retreating away here as the Slingers Gonna be taking down these Terma at this point. Nice play here from Army Corps to keep this pressure up. He's trying to force a defensive ancestors here, it seems. These Guardian Anubites doing absolute work. We're seeing more Guardian Anubites coming in. Army Corps still spamming out Terma here in this game. But we do need to see some more priests, or at least a little bit of micro from the priests, onto those Prometheans to take those down. We are seeing the Terma having to get pushed back here. Nice defense here from Magyar thus far, as Army Corps cannot crack him just yet. Army Corps is going up to the Heroic Age now through Thea. Hyperion was not an option back in 1.03 because the Chaos was a 50% shot at hitting a Myth unit. It still did four hits, so it could potentially hit four units and a Myth unit, but it was 50%, so it's just too much of a risk. Uh, and then also the Satyr were just not that good. 
And now we are seeing Magyar. He's going to be starting to move out of his base. Uh, I think it's maybe just a little bit too soon. He does need to think about a second gold mine or a third gold mine in this case. But a market going to the Mythic Age would be very, very big here for Magyar. Right now we are seeing some beautiful raids here into the farms. But with the uh, Anubites coming in, unfortunately, they mostly miss the Terma here. Trying to chase these guys away. We are seeing some shanking action from the villagers. But a couple more villagers. Villager pickoffs will be happening here. There's the Thayer coming through for Army Corps. That means Maga needs to have priests. He needs to have priests out. Otherwise, he's going to be in a very, very difficult position because there's going to be Dryads. There's going to be Stymphalian Birds. I wouldn't be surprised if we see a market and an immediate Mythic Age here from Army Corps. This was his strategy, and this strategy has been used ever since. Uh, basically, Army Corps would just... Get three town centers and get them uh, in a certain order, be applying pressure for the entire game and rush Titan. We'll see if that's what he's going to be going for here. Remember, in 1.03, nice shockwave yet again. In 1.03, the Titan Age was only 60 seconds. So that means that Army Corps would get his Titan out just that little bit quicker and be able to apply that little bit more pressure to his opponent to finish him off. We are seeing these priests are getting taken down and we will start probably seeing these term up get... Oh, they're still getting queued up. I'm surprised to see that. I thought maybe... Maybe Army Corps was a little bit ahead of his time there, but no. Terma still getting uh, spammed out here. They're still very, very cheap and effective. There's the Ancestors coming through for Magyar. He's struggling a little bit to continue pushing here. He is making some Elephant. Elephant very, very good against these um, Terma. And Army Corps is on the defensive right now as the Ancestors pushing through. We're getting the Pharaoh coming back in for Magyar. Will he be using that one anytime soon? Do we have any funeral rites? We do not have any funeral rites. Into you. And Magyar going to be trying to push through with these elephants. Now, there's no good counter for the elephants apart from catapulties here for Army Corps. The Mermillo are okay, but generally speaking, they're going to get taken down fairly quickly. Arcus, Terma, Terma very bad. 40% pierce armor with 495 HP is a lot. We are seeing the Pharaoh coming in, going to be helping out here. But Army Corps is going to immediately target down that Pharaoh, taking him out of the game. Nice micro there from Magyar, pulling back that Pharaoh in this fight uh, and we will be seeing a uh, very very nice push back here from Magyar as Army Corps is struggling to continue to push it but I'm sure Army Corps is well on his way to the Mythic Age no not on his way to the Mythic Age. I thought he would have been advancing by now, but he's not. He's just spamming the units. And now we have heavy elephants through for Magyar. Magyar is making this Heroic Age push work like a charm. This town center is going down, and there is nothing that Army Corps can do to stop it right now. We see the villager trying to desperately repair that one, but not going to be able to do so. But as this push is happening, Army Corps is slowly pushing back. Magyar 135, 146 population. Siege towers coming in, trying to get some buildings up onto this forward location here. And Big Doll Stronghold here would be very, very good. We see the Pharaoh empowering that one up to get that as up as fast as possible. Army Corps not targeting down the Pharaoh just yet. The priests able to take down these dryads very quickly. Magyar 125 or 146 population. Uh, Army Corps, 130 of 146 population still. We have, there's some catapulties that we were talking about before. The catapulties out. Amazing at dealing with sea showers. Amazing at dealing with heavy elephants. So this will put a bit of a stint into uh, Magyar's push here. Uh, if those catapulties start coming out en masse, we will start needing to see some uh, of those chariot archers yet again. And that's exactly what Magyar's going to start building from this location here. Both players, two town centers. We, do we see uh, Army Corps' resources starting to come out? It's got a ton of wood in the back time to spam out those farms. But Magyar getting pushed back here by these infantry units with the help of the Dryads. There's not enough priests here into this fight. The Axemen getting taken down incredibly fast by those Ar Arcus there before anything's really done. But these heavy elephants are tanking for days here as the Migdal Stronghold trying to hold on. We've got double Migdal Stronghold here helping out on this push. But the Hero Citizen gets taken down and Army Corps is still trying to make some sort of ground here in this fight. But Magyar is holding strong. 130 population for Army Corps. Magyar, 128 of 136. We're seeing the counter barracks getting taken down here. And 
Magyar is pulling back for whatever reason. He's got an advantage here. His elephant are out. He's trying to heal them up. We see the siege tower getting taken down. A market now up for Magyar. His gold mine is depleting. He needs to make ground here. Army Corps getting this third town center now away from the action. That's going to be huge for him. Army Corps has also got himself th that market. He's not building any trade, but he's got himself buildings everywhere on the map here as Magyar going to be turning back in onto this fight. Priest Pharaoh in the back. Need to keep that one alive in order to take down these Dryads. The Dryads are going to be so key in holding onto this. The uh, Siege Tower is tanking quite a bit here as we are seeing that Pharaoh getting chased away by the Catapulti but Magyar keeping a good watchful eye on that Pharaoh as he's still trying to make some ground here. Uh, we are seeing just a cheeky little fight over here but that's going to get dealt with with the shanking of the Villager and Magyar still making a push. He's trying to think about getting this Town Center up. The Villager's Pushing in here, Army Corps, he's got 127 to 130 pop, he's got all the population, he just can't hold, and we will be seeing the palace going the way of Magyar, the Hesperids tree here as well, will uh, probably get converted over to Magyar as well, as this town center gets up, and it's going to be three town centers apiece here, as Magyar is getting his, uh, his control of this game sorted very very well but big shockwave there gonna slow this down just a little bit again these arcus they're in range of the pharaoh but but no micro from army corps to stop the pharaoh from empowering this one up town center is up that gives magia access to this gold mine and also access to mercenary on the front here which is going to be very very hard for army corps to deal with once they start popping out here uh, and these elephants are just continuing to hold their ground, trying to push through. We are seeing just a little bit of an issue with uh, with Magyar trying to produce his units. He does have three Migdols, only training from two here. These villagers getting pushed back. Magyar needs to move on to this gold mine here. This is what he's got. This is his good gold mine. Grabbing the Hesperid tree now as well. He's going to be able to make those dryads out when he gets the... Uh, when he gets the gold as soon as he can get those and we'll see how this is all going to go the market getting taken down over here and we see more elephants coming out for magyar where is army corps what is he doing no fortified town centers no mythic age he's trying to push back in onto this location grabbing the hesperids tree for himself he's casting himself his hesperids tree in his home base got to be very careful because back in the day we did see thoth as a counter sometimes for the uh, for the Titan Gate, but the Hesperid Tree would counter that uh, yet by itself just because it would block all of that. But we are seeing where did Ar what happened there? Army Corps lost a mana somewhere. He needs to rebuild that. Not sure if he's realizing it just yet, as Magyar can now just keep pushing forward, and Army Corps has got no, no real place to, uh, to attack just yet. We are seeing a very, very shoddy market up here from Magyar. You should be going for this corner, walling it off, making it very nice and safe. Uh, safe trade routes and, and efficient trade routes, they, they're a thing of the future, not back in 2011. Uh, Army Corps still able to keep this push happening, is, uh, but, but Magyar has full population here. Absolutely full population here. We are seeing some Stymphalian birds coming in as more priests coming through. We are seeing the Dryads getting built out here for Magyar. This is going to help out a ton in this fight. Magyar's already got a nine population advantage. You add the three Dryads on and that becomes a, like, I, I can't do that math, a 24 population advantage in this game. We are seeing the Stymphalian birds. They're getting pushed back by the priest. Do we have funeral rites? We do not have funeral rites. So they, those Stymphalian birds will last a little bit here. But with the help of the pharaoh, it gets taken down so quick. I don't think there was a pharaoh there, though. I don't know what happened. It's like they dropped. Yeah, the Stymphalian birds just get picked off so quick here. Nice play here from Magyar. And I don't see any real attempt from Army Corps to hit anywhere else on the map, diverting Magyar's attention to somewhere else. With this Elephant Chariot Archer army, there's just there's just not a lot of room to defend multiple locations. If somebody's doing this to you, get your army, split it up, attack multiple different locations. These palaces, chuck them up over here, hit destroyer raids onto the houses, distract, attack where they are the weakest, not where, where they are the strongest here. But as this fight is going on, it's looking like Magyar's not able to really support this spam, uh, but Army Corps can't support it at all here. 
as he's having to pull back 113 of 145 population. He's got all his villagers out. Still no trade route started. Magyar pulling back here. Uh, and... We're seeing uh, Magyar pushing in these Dryads. So, so helpful here for Magyar. Army Core, not a lot left. I'm not sure. Maybe Titanate. Well, he's still not in the Mythic Age, so he doesn't even have access to that. Uh, Magyar's just got so many much trade here as these destroyers going after both the markets, but two Axemen will come in and deal with those very, very quickly. There's another option to put the ma market here, uh, but that hasn't happened just yet. You now seeing the buildings falling here as Magyar is able to push forward, possibly take out the palace over here and take out everything else. See these units pulling back and the Dryad are getting built here. We see the uh, the Mermillo getting taken down as it's out of position here in this game. The Siege Tower is going to push in. But then again, like Magyar is still like riding this dangerous... Uh, this dangerous wave of about to run out of gold, about to run out of gold. This trade route is okay, but it's not good enough to really support everything here. Obviously, Army Corps got access to all the gold mines here on this map, but it's maybe not going to be uh, enough as with the trade route up I, and a little bit of gold left, he's going to be losing the palace. Army Corps 119 of 145 population. Magyar 169 population here, just continuing to push through here. We're seeing this Migdal Stronghold just about to be up as well. We're seeing the Arcus attempt to get some damage on it to it while it, it, they still can, but this is going to mean even more DPS to come through from those chariot archers. Uh, the Migdal Stronghold is now up, and that's looking like Army Corps has to retreat back even further. More Siege Towers coming in. Both these plays still in the Heroic Age at 24 minutes. Uh, as we see the Elephant able to help finish off that palace there. Now the Siege Tower in, ready to take down the other palace. Uh, and still, I'm surprised to see no Mercenary getting built just yet from Magyar. They're so very strong with all of that gold in the bank. Well, he didn't have, he had more gold before, but... Are we seeing anything else happening? We are seeing some raids coming in over onto this market here. We'll be able to take the market out. That's going to hurt the trade route of Magyar quite a bit. The gold mine will be running out. And this is going to be a bit of a, a tester here for Magyar. He's getting himself the market up over the other side of the map, though. So he's not even going to care. It's already up. And, and if I've ever seen a Matrius market, this is a Matrius market there. <laughs> the OG Matrius market was Magyar. I guess we can realize where Matrius actually learned from. Uh, as we see these Dryads able to push in tank. We've got Mercenary Cavalry here as well, ready to just tank even more. 40% hack armor, 44% pierce armor. And these units have to get out of here as now Magyar can, Magyar can just push straight in to the opponent's base, take down the town center and do everything that they need to do at this stage of the game. We're going to be seeing the mana getting taken down, going to hurt Army Corps even more. 120 of 145 population as the mana will be falling. Migdal Stronghold going to be coming up here for Magyar on the front. He's just plopping Migdal's down. He's been slow pushing since back here. Slope, the OG slow push. Boom, boom, boom. Just keep on pushing. And these are going to be such a difficult situation to be in here for uh, Army Corps. He's starting to make some Prometheus now, Prometheans now, as he's thinking maybe they can help, but with that priest in the back, it's just not going to be uh, that good at all. And it's looking as if, well, I mean, he's got so many resources in the bank, so much pushing power, so much uh, so much defensive buildings here. We haven't seen a siege works coming up on the front now. These cost 25 gold, and they can help push even more. Uh, but it is looking like Magyar is in a bit of a bit of a problem here. He's chucking up a, a Migdal Stronghold on a thousand gold mine over there, getting pushed back just a little bit. He's still full population, but I'm not sure it matters. Look at all of these look at all of these camel caravans. I, I mean he's got he's got a ton of them, but is he still building him? He is still building him. He's trying to get as many of them as he possibly can here. And Army Corps is back. Just go after the town center now. Look at this army. He's got three heavy elephant. 
Three sea shards. I mean, going out to this town center is probably safer. But now we're going to be seeing uh, Army Corps attempt to raid over here, pushing off this gold mine. There is gold up at the top. I mean, Magyar shouldn't care. Just put your Pharaoh over here onto this market, and you're all good. You're all Gucci. There's Osiris, though. Oh, Osiris out. For the Uranus player, it's not going to be easy to deal with. He doesn't have that many Arcus. He doesn't have that many good units here. These units are all going to get melted. This Look at this Promethean here. The villagers moving in onto this front here. He's, oh, he's going to start shanking. Is he going to start shanking? Oh, he's going to start shanking. Get in there. Get in there with the villagers. We see the villagers from Magyar going to be taking this down center for himself now as he has managed to clean that up. And ladies and gentlemen, this was 2011. People were men. They would fight to the death. No early surrenders here. But at this stage of the game, Army Corps did realize that all of his hopes and dreams of winning this game are lost. And he does end up tapping out here. If you guys enjoyed this game, please consider hitting the follow button on the Twitch. If you're on the YouTubes, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys in the next game.